Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. The Championship is back this weekend following the international break. Um, you know, very much like the, oh, a few results that did go um, that pre on the uh, previous results. I'll get down to them as I get down to the fixtures. Um, but anyway, guys, a couple of things to update you on. One is I have got a new series on my channel. Um, it's basically me being a manager of my own club, where I'm from. Um, and just in case you don't know, I'm from Brighton. Um, so it's my own series on that. And I took a bit of a twist with this series. A lot of people, um, you know, take a series and basically play FIFA or you know FIFA or Pro Evo. Um, I was asked to do a career mode with my own club so I wanted to do it as realistic as possible. The best way I could do it, best way I could think of it is by Football Manager. That video for the first episode for that series will pop up at the end of this video. Please feel free to go check it out and if you're a big uh, Football Manager fan you know, please feel free to subscribe. Um, but always feel free to subscribe to this channel anyway. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I'm trying to do? Try to get to a thousand subs come the end of the season. Um, guys, especially you can help me do that is by sharing my videos, letting people know about my channel. And let's see if we can do that come the end of the season. And there will be a special video once that goal is reached. But anyway, guys, that's enough chatting. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is for them versus Queen's Park Rangers. Um, Queen's Park Rangers draw into Middlesbrough at home. For them, pick up big three points away to Birmingham. Um, if I supported um, any club um, at these two, at Fulham and QPR, I'd be slightly disappointed with the two... Um, to with Middlesbrough, that's no disrespect to Middlesbrough whatsoever. Um, but Fulham had to bounce back and they did. Um, this game is going to be very interesting going into the weekend, the London derby. So as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Fulham win. My next one is Cheltenham versus Cardiff City. Uh, Cardiff losing 1-0 at home to Bristol City. Um, I'll speak more about Cardiff in a minute. Um, Charlton losing 2-1 away to um, Millwall. Cardiff have lost their manager Nigel Wilnock. Um, now, it all was set uh, for him to leave at the end of the season. Whether he will push early retirement, we're going to have to wait and see. But I think that's going to have a big impact on Cardiff. Um, over the next two to three weeks, um, and maybe even further. Um, I would like to see him finish his uh, manager career at Cardiff, you know, made made the whole season. But Cardiff's one of them teams that's actually proved how hard it is to get back into the Premier League. Um, but, you know, it's going to be an interesting season for Cardiff now all the way through. Um, Charlton, 2 1 away, losers. Millwall knocked down high as a bit from the Charlton perspective. London Derby, yes, but you still want to look at Charlton as newly promoted. Um, but as far as this result goes, because of nine, Nigel will not leave in, I'll go for a 1 0 Charlton win. My next one is Blackburn versus Barnsley. Barnsley losing 4 2 at home to Stoke. Um, Blackburn losing 2-1 away to Leeds. Um, trying to... I can't really say I'm disappointed for neither club, really, because Stoke has got new managers in charge. Um, that honeymoon period, as I've started calling it. Um, so, you know, you can't be too downhearted with Barnsley. But I think Barnsley will be alright coming into the, the season. Um, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, Blackburn losing 2-1 to Leeds. Yeah, you can't be really downhearted about that one either. 
But as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 2 nil black burn win. My next one is Brentford versus Reading. Um, Brentford losing, winning, sorry, winning 3 0 away from home to Wigan. Um, Reading beating Luton Town 3 0 at home. This was a big um, thing for Reading, I personally think, on that result. Um, Brentford, you know, maybe not so much. But we, I, you've also got to look at Reading, you know, where they are. Who, if I'd ask you now, um, put the three teams who you think are going to go down. Because um, I'm all down here, I am interested. And the Christmas, we're going to a Christmas period, we'll look at the league table. And at the end of the Christmas period, we'll look at the league table again. Just see how much it's changed. Because I always do find it fascinating. Um, you know, just as a normal football fan, um, Christmas can really break your season. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Brentford win. My next one is Bristol City versus Nottingham Forest. Um, now, I know, um, I'll just talk about the results quickly. Um, Bristol City beating Cardiff 1-0 away from home. Um, so that's all pretty dandy. Not choice winning the derby um, over derby at home. 1-0. Um, I know I've mispronounced Nottingham Forest quite a few times this season already. Um, I do apologise, I do try and get it correct. Um, hopefully I'll start getting it correct now, so hopefully no more mistakes. But if I do, the, you know, feel free to correct me. Um, but that's a big statement from Nottingham Forest. Um, and Bristol City as well. But yet again, you've got to say Nigel, uh, um, Bristol City, well, I've got another thing. Put your three relegation teams and put your two promoting teams, your four playoff teams, and who's going to win the playoffs? Because that is the really interesting part um, come the end of the season. Um, but, you know, you really, as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. Both teams are looking for a promotion. Um, my next one is Derby versus Preston North End. Just that you mentioned Derby, 1 0 losers away to Nottingham Forest. Um, Preston North End beating Huddersfield 3 1 at home. Um, I've already described how hard Deep Tail is to go. So I'm just going to give you the result for this one. And I'll go for a 2 0 Preston win. My next one is Huddersfield versus Birmingham. Huddersfield losing 3-1 away, uh, uh, away from home, 3-1 to Preston, just to mention that. Birmingham losing 1-0 at home to Fulham. Yeah, again, not a big um, surprises on both sides. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 0-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Luton Town versus Leeds United. Um, you know, Luton losing 3-0 away from home to Reading. Leeds beating Blackburn 2-1 at home. Um, yeah, again, no real big surprises. The only probably big surprise out of that lot was that Reading result. Luton loses such such a big margin. Couldn't Nathan Jones be on his way back to Luton? We're going to have to wait and see. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Leagues win. My next one is Stoke versus Wigan. Um, Stoke beating Barnsley 4 2 away from home. Wigan losing 3-0 at, uh, at home to Brentford. Um, Stoke slightly look on the up now. 
Um, after sacking Nathan Jones, obviously there's still a long way to go in the season, so there are a lot of games to be played. There's still going to be a lot of twists and turns in this championship season, I can guarantee you that, because it always is a twisty, turny league. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Swansea versus Millwall. Um, Swansea... Uh, two two away to Sheffield Wednesday. QPR two two at home to Middlesbrough. So both these teams are going into this weekend with a draw. Um, where do you go if you're a Swansea fan? Please feel free if you're a Swansea fan to comment. Um. Where do you think you're going to finish the season? That's no disrespect to Swansea, how they are. Obviously losing Graham Potter. Um, but I think Swansea have just gone on a really big dip ever since being relegated from the Premier League. Um, but, you know, it's really... Um, it's really... Uh, sorry, they're not playing QPR, they're playing Millwall. Um, my mistake. Um, so Millwall 2-1-1 is over Charlton. Um, but, you know, fair play to both teams, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Swansea City win. My next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Sheffield Wednesday. West Bromwich Albion winning 1-0 at Hull. Sheffield Wednesday 2-2 at home to Stoke. No real big surprises, so I'm just going to give you the result for this one. And I'll go for a 1-0 West Brom win. My last one for this weekend is Middlesbrough versus Hull City. Um, Middlesbrough 2-2 over QPR away from home. Um, Hull losing one nil at home to West Brom. Uh, yeah, West Brom. No real big surprise on neither side. Just gonna give you the result, and I'll go for a nil nil scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big five hundred if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.